Hello everybody, it's Joe Bean Videos on the Jimmy Master Electronics and what I have for review today is Punctured Pete. So that's Spirit Halloween this year, 2020. Now I did not purchase this. This is our display. Some wires came off the motor um, and I took it home. They let me take it home to repair it. Um, well, the reason the wires came up is, well, <laughs> this is made by Crazy Crate, so just knowing that you know that it's going to need screws as part of the assembly all of them do uh i forgot to put this screw in the setup so at some point when i was at my other job today this came out which holds this and this is actually where he moves from too the stake part actually kind of like he has a see that this connects down to there so as this moves back and forth it pulls the body and this uh well this came out so he went forward and all these wires ripped off the motor but that wasn't the only problem i had the wires twisted on the motor after that and it would work but it would sometimes stop because the wires would get loose still at one point these wires touched together causing it to overheat it blew the component out on the board so i have it rigged i have the wires from the motor now soldered to the adapter port this is a constant motion animatronic there's no step pad mode or sensor it just goes continuously until you turn it off so really soldering the wires to the adapter port makes no difference whatsoever because it still moves constant but the one funny thing about it is that it does have a step pad mode but it doesn't have a step pad Th like see they for they, they this is all of them are like this they have the step pad mode but they didn't put the connector piece it's not on the board or anything it's just an empty hole with nothing in it the electronic is empty that part of it so it's kind of a fuck up from the factory i guess you can say <laughs> but yeah there's only two wires that I'd attach one for the eyes and one for the motor i'm gonna hot glue these so they don't come off again too um his setup is weird uh, it's different. It, this one doesn't have zip ties, but it has these elastic straps. Kind of like what the incinerator and crowd chamber have for their lids. It has this to hold the arms on instead of zip ties. It, it go, goes around the arm and it clips into the chest on both sides. There's one on the back and one on the front and then that side too. The legs are the weirdest part because it ha you have to get it through the pants. And they just stick up like that and this shirt covers that. There's knees and those have that same part too. They have a plastic piece as you can see and that elastic band goes around and you just clip it around the foam leg. It's weird. And also these have Velcro so they stick to the base and this white foam leg just goes into the shoe, tucks into the shoe like that. This sits on the base with Velcro. Um, so yeah, it's just odd. And then there is an elastic band to hold the pants up, which never stays on this one because that part's kind of broke on it. Like, it's the clip is not good, as you can see. There is uh, a screw that you attach for this. You have to put the shirt on at one point, at some point, obviously. The head, you have to put a screw in. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's constant motion. He's... My my assistant manager doesn't like this one. It's not the movement she doesn't like, but she doesn't like the audio. But, yeah. Anyways, but yeah, so, so I took it home to fix it. I'm probably going to end up buying this one later on. Don thinks we won't be able to sell it for a full price because of the issue. But really, I mean, because this isn't removable now since they have it. The harness no longer is, exists. It's hardwired. But... Really, if a, if I end up buying it, I don't disassemble my props anyways. But um, there's still three other ones. But we're not going to set up a new one. Because if the new one breaks two, then we have two broken. And then there's two we can't sell for full price. Or stuff like that. And I don't care if I pay full price for this. I asked, the, I asked if... I mean, I said I would buy the Uncle Charlie. And he has a wire off his mouth. Had a wire off his mouth. I just swapped the heads on the display. Uh... But she gave me employee discount on that. But I won't. They don't have to take the loss. I'll buy it for full price. This is one hundred and seventy dollars. Um, and the reason it broke is my fault. But it was just the wires, though, initially, which isn't a hard fix. Anyone that really collects animatronics should know how to, you know, solder wires back on because it's going to happen at one point. Um, but yeah. Anyways, yeah.
I I overall think he looks really cool. He's a really cool looking zombie. I know where I'd want to use him in our yard probably too, most likely. I'd figure it out, which is another reason why I want him. Um, the way he looks crouched down looks really nice. Uh, the only part I don't like is that this part as he thrashes comes out, so it just hangs like that. It's weird. It needs a, it, it needed one more Velcro strap, but there you can easily just you know sew it a little more. You know that's such an easy tweak. Um, also, he's a little bit taller than uh, Ellie Hatchet, not by much, but a little. And also with the uh, wires being uh, directly soldered to the adapter port, it's actually a little faster too. Now. This will be on display until all the others sell. Um, so I don't know how long that's going to take. It depends on the customers that shop at the store. Uh, but his motor could die in between that time. But I'll still buy it even if it does. Because they can just replace the motor at that point. I think I already showed you the mechanism and what it's like. But yeah, anyways. But now since the wires are uh, hardwired to the adapter port. Uh, even if I turn it in the off or step pad posi position, it'll still move constantly, which means it can move without the eyes being lit up. Well, you can do that too without, a, you don't, you just don't connect the wire harness if you don't want that either. But just saying that this has to be unplugged if you don't want it to move, because if, as long as it's always plugged in, there's always power going to the motor because that's how it's wired up now. Um, but you can also turn the audio off too. It's got volume. It, this one cannot take batteries. It's only adapter. Let's use the battery adapter pack, which anything can take, but yeah. So here it is. I need, the, I need a little bit more room here. So here he is. Pretty fast and cool, pretty cool movement. I really like it. So I am definitely going to end up buying this later on. Just not right now. It's a lot faster than what it was. Very detailed. The face doesn't look exactly like the box, but... <laughs> I gotta hot glue those wires on the motor because they're still messing up a little bit. But yeah. Anyways. What happens is when these wires touch together, um, it causes it to shut off. So that's why I'm gonna hot glue it so they don't make that kind of connection. Alright, see they're hot glued now. So they, this has got to be back on display at Spirit tomorrow. So I'm just fixing that at night and it's going to be right there tomorrow. Nobody will even know it was ever gone. Although I might put it in a different spot. I might put it right next to where we moved Pennywise uh, yesterday. But yeah, they're hot glued so they shouldn't touch. Now these were touching too and I hot glued those. Um, those won't make t contact anymore like that. So it should be good to go. So... And here's the fix it the volume. Here's the volume. And like I said, if I turn it off, it's still gonna move, obviously, because like I said, it's directly soldered to the adapter port. So as long as power is going through, it's gonna go. <laughs> It's not popping out now, but... His knees don't look completely right, but that's just... It's hard getting them to line up correctly, but whatever. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I, I would recommend getting them. He's very cool and detailed. Again, I like it. I do wish he had a sensor... You know, because the constant motion, you know, that does wear them out pretty fast if they're going 24-7, you know. I mean, the motor will get, you know, eventually get die with constant, I mean, especially with violent movement like that. I mean, yeah. But anyways, yeah. And maybe if they sell them again next year, they'll probably, maybe they'll add the step pad function. Because that might have been a factory, uh production error i don't know anyways yeah <laughs>